Hello, I am Ms. Sudha Shanbagh, Principal of the Malad Branch. At Children's Academy Group of Schools, nothing is more important than the personal safety of our students. The Academy believes that safety doesn't happen by accident. It is a result of collective effort. There is no magic spell, just a few practices in strategic planning that pays off exponentially to make our school a safe and healthy place for all. We at the Academy take various measures to ensure that a safe and secure environment is maintained. A single point entry ensures strategic tracking of each visitor. Security personnel are placed tactically to track movements along with CCTV surveillance at open areas like school ground, passages and staircases. Mock fire drills, bus safety drills, regular audits is ritualistic to the proceedings of the school. We have an equipped infirmary with a qualified nurse to cater to the children's health and related exigencies. In the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, entry is only restricted to the fees counter and the reception. The academy adheres to the rule of no mask, no entry. The visitors are allowed to enter the premises only after a proper check of the body temperature and sanitization of the hands. Proper social distancing is maintained. The premises are sanitized at regular intervals. With the physical school shutdown and the beginning of online teaching, the safety of our students in the virtual world becomes all the more a matter of concern to us. The Academy created Google email IDs for all its students and Google Classrooms for every division. This ensured that the Google platforms were used only by the people added to the CAG's domain. Keeping in mind the cases of cyber crimes, the students are apprised of the various ways in which they can keep themselves safe in the virtual world. Students are trained regularly in how to make the best use of the privacy settings on various social media sites to protect themselves from being a victim of cyberbullying. The adolescent period is that of a transcendence from being a child to a grown-up. It entails a whole new world of rejection, failure, isolation, body shaming and of course social media which can precipitate and perpetuate in mental health difficulties like depression and anxiety. We create safe spaces for children and adolescents to talk about their doubts, fears, questions and prejudices. We sensitize our children about eating right, thinking right and living right with our adolescence programs. We cannot stop the waves, but we can learn to surf. The coping mechanism of well-being is in building the emotional quotient and growth mindset in children. Care, the counseling team of Children's Academy group of schools, conducts sensitization programs on issues of child labor, gender-based violence, safety issues of girls, bullying, etc. Psychiatric support and counselling is made available to ensure the mental and emotional well-being of the students. We follow a strict no-bullying policy and our resource team propagates empathy in camaraderie. This is enforced by organising anti-bullying week for students where various activities are executed to educate students about bullying and the measures to prevent it. Various workshops are conducted throughout the year to apprise the parents of the tools of keeping children safe and healthy. Involvement of parents strengthen the mission of creating safe avenues for children to speak up and resolve issues. We also sensitize parents and students on the precautionary measures to be taken in the current pandemic and to share the same at their workplace or in the vicinity and thereby extend the safety do's 
and don'ts to the society. Compassion is a core of Children's Academy group of schools. The academy has always engaged in a number of community development programs. To celebrate its golden jubilee year, Children's Academy group of schools took pride in organizing the Safe Supportive Schools Education Law Symposium, where the focus was on sensitizing the schools about safety protocols and fire audits. We at the Academy believe that safety is not just a way of life, but a way of mind.